What is going on, wonderful people? It's Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense. Welcome back to my neurology playlist. In previous videos, we talked about multiple sclerosis and Guillain-Barré syndrome. We talked about myasthenia gravis and Lambert-Eaton myasthenic syndrome. We talked about intracranial hypertension and hydrocephalus. We have discussed brain herniation and its different types. We talked about the different causes of vertigo, including Meniere's disease and benign positional paroxysmal vertigo. And last, we started talking about the different types of headache, migraine headache, cluster headache, and tension headache. Today, we have another cause of headache, which is trigeminal neuralgia. What does alja mean? Alja means pain. Pain in the nervous system or pain of neurological origin. And which nerve are we talking about? We're talking about the trigeminal nerve, which is the fifth cranial nerve. Click the like button, click the subscribe button, and let's get started. I have two neuro playlists on this channel. The first is called Neuroanatomy, which talks about anatomy of the nervous system. And I have a special video just on the trigeminal nerve. And the second playlist is Neurology, which has neuroanatomy, neurophysiology, neuropharmacology, and neuropathology. If you want to learn about migraine headache, cluster headache, or tension headache, please review the previous videos in this neurology playlist. If you want to see more videos like this, please drop a brain emoji in the comments. Please recall the red flags of headache. And the mnemonic is SNOOPS. We have double S, we have double O, and lots of P's. Systemic signs and symptoms such as fever, such as nuchal rigidity, positive Koenig's sign, positive Brudzinski sign, all of these are red flags. Secondary risk factors such as cancer or immunosuppression are red flags when they come with the headache. Neurological signs and symptoms that resemble a stroke or other disease. Severe abrupt onset of headache is a red flag. Headache in older people, red flag. Headache that changes in pattern, red flag. Headache during pregnancy, red flag. Headache that changes when you change position, red flag. Headache with papilledema, red flag. Headache that precipitates with Valsalva, red flag. These are the snoop signs. These are the red flags. And if the patient is snooping, the doctor ain't snoozing. You better take these complaints seriously. And in many cases, you need to do an MRI to evaluate further. If you wish to download these doozy colorful notes, go to medicosisperfectionalis.com. I help you learn, understand, and pass exams. If you want me to personally tutor you, reach out to me on my website. Trigeminal neuralgia can lead to acute headache or chronic headache. Some patients achieve remission. Would we consider trigeminal neuralgia to be an intracranial cause of headache or extracranial? It is usually considered extracranial because it's not a brain disease per se, but a disease of a peripheral nerve, just like glossopharyngeal neuralgia. If you want me to make a special video on glossopharyngeal neuralgia, please let me know in the comments. How many cranial nerves do you have? The answer is 12 pairs. 1 and 2 come out of the forebrain, 3 and 4 out of the midbrain, 5, 6, 7, 8 from the pons, 9, 10, 11, 12 from the medulla. So the trigeminal nerve comes out of the pons. And that's why one of the mechanisms that try to explain the pathogenesis of trigeminal neuralgia is an abnormal artery or an abnormal vein compressing the trigeminal nerve near the pons. Recall that the trigeminal nerve is mostly sensory. It provides sensory innervation for all of this part of the head, mainly the face, except the area over the parotid gland, which is supplied by the great auricular nerve. Also, the back of the scalp is not supplied by the trigeminal nerve. If you know the name of the nerve or the nerves that supply this back of the skull, please comment below. Besides sensory function, does the trigeminal nerve have some motor function? And the answer is yes. Only the V3 division, which is the mandibular division of the trigeminal nerve, has some motor function as well. It supplies eight muscles, four muscles of mastication and four muscles of no mastication. Do you know these muscles? Can you name them? Comment below. What are the three branches of the trigeminal nerve? V1 is the ophthalmic, which supplies this area of the face, including the tip of the nose. V2 is the maxillary nerve, which supplies this area. And V3 is the mandibular nerve. 
V2 is over the maxilla and V3 is over the mandible. In most cases of trigeminal neuralgia, the pain occurs over the areas supplied by V2 and V3. To learn more about the anatomy of the trigeminal nerve and the branches of each one of these nerves, ophthalmic, maxillary, and mandibular, please refer to my neuroanatomy playlist. So here is everything you need to know about trigeminal neuralgia. It is most common in females than males. The peak incidence is about 65 years of age. The first presentation is usually between ages 40 and 70. Symptoms, unilateral pain that is intense, that is paroxysmal, meaning it comes in attacks. A repeated attacks of stabbing pain in the sensory distribution of the trigeminal nerve, particularly V2 and V3 the maxillary and the mandibular. This pain is triggered by touch. The classic example is a guy shaving his beard, a lady applying makeup, someone brushes his or her teeth, someone wearing a turtleneck that reaches the distribution of V3. Some patients have facial spasms that are painful, and that's why the old name for trigeminal neuralgia was tic douloureux. Tic is the spasm douloureux from dolor, which means pain, i.e. painful spasms. Tic douloureux. The duration of the pain in trigeminal neuralgia varies from 3 seconds all the way up to 1 minute. Trigeminal neuralgia could be divided into primary and secondary. Primary is idiopathic, meaning the cause is unknown. One hypothesis suggests that we have an aberrant or abnormal artery or vein compressing the trigeminal nerve near the pons. Secondary trigeminal neuralgia is secondary to something else, such as secondary to multiple sclerosis with its infamous demyelinating plaques. How can we diagnose trigeminal neuralgia? We diagnose it clinically. If we suspect multiple sclerosis or a compressing pathology, we can do an MRI. How can we manage trigeminal neuralgia? We have carbamazepine and oxcarbazepine. And these were the pharmacological options. Non-pharmacological options include microvascular decompression, nerve fiber destruction, glycerol injection, thermal lesioning, chemical ablation, and gamma knife radiosurgery. Quick review on trigeminal neuralgia. When I touch my face, whether shaving or applying makeup, I develop severe pain like an electric shock. The patient will present to you with part of the face not shaved or where makeup is not applied. Why? Because it's the same area. When I touch, ouch, it hurts. Diagnosis is made clinically. Treatment is carbamazepine. Carbamazepine is also an anti-seizure medication. To learn about the anti-epileptic medications, I have a special video on this topic and you can find it in this neurology playlist. Don't forget to take a look at my neuroanatomy playlist. To learn about anti-epileptics, antidepressants, antipsychotics, anti-Parkinsonian medications, the opioids, the anesthetics, the stimulants, and the sedatives hypnotics, download my neuropharmacology course at medicosisperfectionalis.com. To learn about the different types of strokes, myocardial infarction, cardiac arrhythmias, ARDS, acute limb ischemia, drowning, and the toxidromes, download my emergency medicine high yields course at medicosisperfectionalis.com. To learn about neurosurgery, cardiothoracic surgery, trauma surgery, orthopedic surgery, pre-operative care, post-operative care, and more, download my surgery high yields course at medicosisperfectionalis.com. If you value what I do, help me make more videos by supporting the channel. Go to buymeacoffee.com slash medicosis. There are more than 600 premium videos available on this channel when you click the join button and choose the highest tier. Please subscribe, hit the bell, smash like, support my channel on Patreon, PayPal, or Venmo, go to my website to download my courses, notes, and cases, or if you would like me to personally tutor you. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionatus, where medicine, chemistry, math, and physics make perfect sense.